It's happening. If you want Deshaun Watson to get traded, then every single person that comes across this video, I don't only want you to like this video, I want you to smash that thumbs up. This thing better get over 1,000, 2,000 likes because I think all of us down, deep down, want Deshaun Watson to get traded. Mitchell Renz here from Chat Sports, and what a way to kick off your Thursday morning. We have some breaking news. Deshaun Watson has demanded a trade from the Houston Texans. If you've been subscribed to this channel for a while, you know we've been walking you through this step by step, and now it's happening. So Watson, he has officially requested a trade. Now there was another report out there that the Houston Texans obviously – they still don't want to move on from him. He is their franchise quarterback. He is the franchise of not only the team the, or the face of the team, but the face of the entire city of Houston. So we're going to walk you through exactly what the potential trade cost is going to be. We're going to walk you through some potential destinations. And at the very end of the video, we got some blockbuster trades. So Watson, he holds a no trade clause in his contract, which is going to be very, very important because at the end of the day, he's going to be able to pick where he ends up going. So here's a tweet from me and Rappaport earlier this morning. He would, so how would Deshaun Watson trade work? If the Texans traded him, the two sides would agree to a deal that works for both. Then Watson would provide written notice that he would allow a trade to that team. Otherwise, no deal. So not only was he paid a ridiculous amount of money, the second highest most behind Patrick Mahomes, he also be able, he's also able to control exactly where he goes. So he's got all the power here. Now this is from an NFL League source on Watson to Miami, which I did think was pretty interesting. The chatter is getting louder that Watson feels like the situation in Houston is unfixable, that's now official, and Miami is seen as the front runner behind the scenes. I'll tell you what, if you guys want to still know the behind the scenes stuff around Deshaun Watson, if you want to know what the latest news and rumors are around the NFL that you can't quite miss, this is why you subscribe to Chat Sports. We bring you videos every single day around the latest NFL news and rumors, and for a lot of y'all to the over 230,000 people that have already subbed, you're like, yeah, this was a matter of time. But that's because you subscribe. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of people who have never heard of us before, but we are an interactive YouTube channel. We go live every single Monday, Wednesday, and if Deshaun Watson does get traded to one of these teams here, I'll tell you what, we're going to be going live. So hit that big red button and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a thing. So what exactly did Watson do last season? Okay, only a 70.2% completion percentage, which I think we'd all agree is pretty darn good, especially considering the fact that they traded away his number one receiver in and DeAndre Hopkins. He had a ton of receivers with, I don't know, all sorts of injuries and an offensive line that's never been good. He led the National Football League with 4,823 yards. I think that's pretty solid. 33 touchdowns, seven interceptions. But, oh, wait, the reason why that people are just um, always amazed by what he can do, it's not only the arm. He's under 25 years old, and he can also run. And when you look at these numbers, 44 rushing yards, three touchdowns, I'd actually make the argument this is one of his worst seasons in terms of being able to go ahead and pick up rushing yards. Also, 31 first downs picked up with his legs. He can hurt you in so many ways, and he is going to make some NFL team, I guess minus the Houston Texans, very, very happy in the future. So let's just say Watson does end up getting traded. If he is moved on, what exactly do the Houston Texans or what exactly is his cap hit if he's traded? So 10.54, what does that mean exactly? So the new team that gets him, they're only going to have to pay $10.54 million and Houston, they're going to have to eat a lot of his 2021 contract. Now you're looking at these numbers and these are pretty big numbers, right? However, I would take the Sean Watson for this amount of money here considering the fact that guys like Ben Roethlisberger are going to make $41 million. Guys like Jared Goff making about the same. You're telling me I can get Deshaun Watson at this price for 2021? 20, yeah, where do I sign? Now, here's another interesting quote that I saw from Jerry Fowler on the Deshaun Watson trade. And a lot of times we get asked, hey, what exactly is going to be the price? So this is from Fowler's about a week ago. The baseline asking price will include a minimum of three first round picks, at least one other high draft pick, and possibly a star or ascending player. So the question I'm going to hit all y'all with is this. Is Deshaun Watson worth three? First round picks, Y for yes or N for no. I know Fowler also threw in, you know, hey, a Pro Bowl caliber player and another, you know, draft pick. But I'm a believer that since he demanded a trade, his value does go down at least a little bit. There's obviously going to be plenty of teams calling up trying to get this guy on their team, which that might then boost his trade value back up. But go down in the comments. Let me know, is Watson worth three first round picks? I'm saying yes, absolutely. 
And I actually don't even think it's close. All right, let's get into some other news around why exactly Watson went from being in love with Houston, signing a record-breaking deal four years, like $161 million, to I want the hell out of here. It really started when the Houston Texans went out and hired Nick Casario to be their general manager. One of the things that Watson asked for when he signed that deal with Houston was said, hey, if you're going to make me the franchise quarterback, if you're going to make me this player that's going to be here for a while, at least loop me in these conversations. Let me at least help out and let you guys know who I want to be brought in. So once this happened, he didn't really like it very much. I don't know if it was the hire that he wanted. He tweeted out a bunch of things. We'll get to that in a little bit. And then yesterday, it's still technically not official, but it's official. Coley is going to be, or David Culley is going to be the head coach of the Houston Texans, previously the wide receivers coach and pass game coordinator. I've heard good things about Coley in the sense of that he is a leader of men and he is a good role model. However, I'm a believer that there's a lot of good role models and leader of men out there in the National Football League, and no disrespect to David Coley, he wasn't qualified to get a head coaching job. I mean, when you go back and look at some of the teams that he's been with, the Baltimore Ravens had one of the worst wide receiver courses past season. Remember his time with Kansas City? If you don't, it was the one year where they didn't have a single touchdown at the wide receiver position. No offense to David Culley, he had no business getting the job, especially over a guy like Eric Bieniemy, who Deshaun Watson has verbally come out and said that it's a guy he wanted. You didn't ultimately put Bieniemy in your first initial candidates to hire, and he got upset, and now you're going to this. So honestly, man, I don't blame Deshaun Watson for wanting out. So we've done multiple videos here at Chat Sports and some potential destinations for Deshaun Watson. When I see all the news now, when I read all the reports, and we've been reading the tea leaves for literally like three weeks now, here are the top five teams that I think make the most sense for Deshaun Watson. Obviously, the Miami Dolphins. You have four picks in the top 50, and there's been some question marks around Tua. Uh, if I were to put all my chips in one pile, it would either be on the Dolphins or the New York Jets, who do have the number two overall pick. The Carolina Panthers, this is like my dream boat in terms of a fantasy football standpoint. Chris McCaffrey, a dynamic offense, an up-and-coming team, and in the NFC South, which continues to get older, Chicago Bears, man. They just need a quarterback. And then the Washington football team. You put Deshaun Watson in the NFC East, that's going to be the best team in the NFC East for quite some time. So prediction time. Look into your crystal ball. Try to figure it out. Which team is going to go out and make the move for Deshaun Watson? If you're still saying, like, Mitch, it's not going to happen. He's not going to leave Houston. They're going to figure out a way. Cool. I'm going to sip my tea, and I'm just going to respectfully say that I think you're wrong. His time in Houston is done, and they have a serious, serious problem. Now, maybe you're still a Houston Texans fan. We got some awesome masks for you guys as well. But if you're a fan of all 32 NFL teams or if you just want one mask, we got you covered here. So obviously, 2020 was a shit show of a year. And 2021, we're trying to make it a little bit better. Stay safe. Do the right things. And if you go out in public, just wear a mask. And plus, it's wintertime. It's going to keep you a little bit warmer. They're machine washable, but they're also on sale. Some of these bad boys up to 75% off. So this pack of four last time I checked, I mean, you're talking about like $15.99. There's one mask on the site. It's $3.75. Chatsports.com slash stay safe. I'm going to put this link in the comments and in the description. Do the right things, y'all. That's all I ask. So one more time here, Deshaun Watson has demanded a trade from the Houston Texans. And even though I am somewhat surprised, I'm also not surprised whatsoever. Ever since the whole hiring of Bill O'Brien and then they made him the GM slash head coach, it's been just an absolute disaster in Houston. Then you trade his best player for basically David Johnson in the second round pick and um, DeAndre Hopkins, and it's just been an absolute downhill slope from them. Deshaun Watson is one of these players that ever since he came out of Clemson is a dude that I've absolutely loved, and I actually hope that he is going to do what's best for him and best in the future. Houston doesn't have a first-round pick in 2021. They don't have a second pick either, and now they're about to lose their franchise quarterback. So this is when it all kind of started here. I'm going to go back, uh, in the, back to January 5th here. Some things never change. This is right after they hired Nick Casario. So obviously this is when I think we all started to see all these Deshaun Watson rumors. Then two days later, Ian Rappaport put out that Deshaun Watson was extremely unhappy with the organization and Kyle McNair informed him that he'd be involved in the GM and coaching hiring process, and that didn't happen. Then on January 15th, I was on at 2, then I took it to 10. Shout out to Tom Downey because Adam Schefter actually retweeted him in regards to what this tweet was about. He basically put out the fact that when DeAndre Hopkins was traded, his anger on a scale from 1 to 10 was a 2. And then some other things that happened around the Houston Texans, well, not hiring Eric Bieniemy or interviewing him, then he went to a 10. 
He's upset, he's mad, and now he officially wants to be out of the city of Houston. So, again, Watson, he's been traded. I'm looking over here to my left to see what the latest news around him is, and it still just kind of says that Watson, he does have leverage of use. He can be fined, what is it, $95,877 for missing minicamp, and he can be fined uh, $50,000 per day each day of training camp miss, plus one week salary of six hundred and twenty dollars as far as I'm concerned, Deshaun Watson, that's chump change after he signed a whole bunch of money. So it sounds like this dude's on his way out. So I appreciate everyone that came across this video. But if you had a good time here, guess what? These are honestly some of my favorite videos that we make here at Chat Sports. We ranked every single team. 31 down to 1. Sorry, Houston, on who could go out and get Deshaun Watson. So after this video, go check out that one. And shout out to Blockbuster. I kind of miss him a little bit. Netflix is better, though. We also did six Blockbuster trades for Deshaun Watson. So these are the kind of videos that we do here at Chat Sports. Not only do we do the latest breaking news like a Deshaun Watson the man to trade, we also get creative. So if those are the videos you like, hit that big red button and subscribe.